Ever wondered about the most venomous snake in the world? The inland taipan? Now you might be thinking snakes, aren't they all just slithering creatures that send chills down our spines? Well yes, but there's so much more to them. The world of snakes is a fascinating realm of diverse species, each one more intriguing than the last. And at the pinnacle of this serpentine hierarchy sits the inland taipan. This is no ordinary snake, my friends. It's a creature that commands respect and a healthy dose of caution. Its venom is potent enough to take down 100 full-grown men with a single bite. But don't let the fear overshadow the fascination. For the inland taipan isn't just a deadly predator, it's also an incredible testament to nature's unending surprises. Discovered in the late 19th century, the inland taipan has quite a captivating history. The discovery of the inland taipan takes us back to the late 1800s. Imagine a time when the Australian continent was still a vast, largely unexplored territory. It was during this era of discovery and adventure that a man named Frederick McCoy, a renowned naturalist, stumbled upon a creature that would go on to earn the title of the world's most venomous snake, the inland taipan. McCoy was exploring the rugged terrain of central and eastern Australia. Under the scorching sun amidst the barren landscapes, he came across this snake. At first glance, it was an unassuming creature, its dark brown color blending with the arid surroundings. But McCoy, with his keen eye and years of experience, knew he had found something special. And so the world was introduced to the inland taipan. Word quickly spread about McCoy's discovery, sparking a mix of fascination and fear. The snake's formidable reputation grew with each passing tale of its deadly venom, and it wasn't long before it was dubbed the Fierce Snake. But despite its fearsome moniker, the inland taipan proved elusive, adding an air of mystery to its already intriguing persona. While McCoy's discovery was groundbreaking, it was just the first step in understanding the inland taipan. Over the years, numerous scientists and herpetologists have studied this fascinating creature, each contributing to the wealth of knowledge we have today. They've delved into its habits, its habitat, its venom, and its behavior, all in an effort to unravel the enigma that is the inland taipan. In a way, the discovery of the inland taipan mirrors our ongoing journey of understanding the natural world. It's a reminder that even in the harshest of environments, life finds a way. And sometimes, that life can take the form of a deadly, yet captivating creature. The inland taipan, often referred to as the fierce snake, is a native of Australia, particularly the central east region. This area is marked by an arid, semi-desert environment with vast stretches of open plains. The inland taipan prefers this desolate landscape, far from the bustling human activity. These snakes are not into the beach life, instead they are keen on the dry, rocky terrain and riverine areas of Queensland, South Australia, New South Wales, and the Northern Territory. This is where the inland taipan thrives, nestled amidst the cracks and crevices of the soil, hidden from the scorching sun and potential predators. The climate in this region is typically hot and dry, with scarce rainfall. But don't be fooled, the inland taipan is a master of adaptation. During the sweltering summer months, these snakes adopt a nocturnal lifestyle, hunting for prey under the cover of darkness, avoiding the intense heat. In the cooler winter months, they switch to a diurnal routine, soaking up the warmth of the sun during daylight hours. The inland taipan's diet primarily consists of small mammals, particularly rodents. The arid environment they inhabit is home to a plethora of such creatures, providing the snake with a constant food supply. This snake's venom, the most toxic of any terrestrial snake worldwide, is specifically adapted to swiftly immobilize and kill its prey. But despite their deadly nature, these snakes are rather shy and reclusive. They are not aggressive unless provoked or threatened. Their remote habitat, far from human settlements, reduces the chances of encounters with humans, contributing to their elusive reputation. The inland taipan's habitat is a testament to its resilience and adaptability. This snake has carved out a niche for itself in the harsh Australian landscape, surviving and thriving amidst the arid plains and rocky outcrops. Despite its deadly nature, the inland taipan's habitat is quite unsuspecting. This snake, with its lethal venom, has made a home in a place that many would find inhospitable. But for the inland taipan, it's just another day in the Australian outback. Now, let's delve into why the inland taipan holds the title of the world's most venomous snake. 
The inland taipan, or Oxyuranus microlepidotus as it's scientifically known, is a creature of immense power and danger. It's a snake that doesn't merely bite, but delivers a lethal injection of venom that's an astonishing 200 times more potent than that of a common cobra. This snake's venom is a deadly cocktail of neurotoxins, myotoxins and coagulants. To put it simply, neurotoxins attack the nervous system, affecting the victim's ability to move or breathe. Myotoxins cause severe muscle damage, and coagulants, well, they prevent the blood from clotting. But how does this venom affect humans, you might ask? Once bitten, the victim's body begins a terrifying journey. The neurotoxins start to shut down the nervous system, leading to paralysis. The myotoxins begin to break down muscles, causing severe pain and potentially kidney failure. The coagulants interfere with blood clotting, leading to internal bleeding, and the scariest part, this venom works fast, very fast. In fact, without immediate medical attention, a bite from an inland taipan can prove fatal in as little as 45 minutes. The potency of the inland taipan's venom is such that a single bite from this fearsome creature has enough venom to kill 100 fully grown men. That's right, 100. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? But despite its deadly nature, the inland taipan is not an aggressive creature. It only strikes when threatened or cornered. So, while the snake is dangerous, it's not out to harm without cause. Remember, like all creatures, the inland taipan plays a crucial role in our ecosystem. It helps control the population of its favorite food, rats, which in turn helps maintain a balance in nature. With a venom so potent, it's no wonder the inland taipan is feared. But remember, understanding and respecting this creature is the first step towards coexisting with it. The inland taipan's venom is deadly, but what's the real human cost? When we delve into the annals of history, the inland taipan's venomous reputation precedes it. The potency of its venom is unquestionable, but the real impact on human lives brings the danger into perspective. The first recorded fatality from an inland taipan bite dates back to the early 20th century. The victim, a young farmhand, was bitten while attempting to capture the snake on a rural property. Despite medical treatment, the venom rapidly overpowered his system, leading to his untimely demise. Fast forward to the late 20th century, another life was claimed by this lethal serpent. A snake handler, experienced yet unfortunate, fell victim to the quick strike of an inland taipan during a routine handling session. Despite having anti-venom administered promptly, the venom's potency was too overwhelming, leading to a tragic end. However, fatalities from inland taipan bites are surprisingly rare, largely due to the snake's elusive nature and the remote locations it inhabits. It's also worth noting that the development and availability of anti-venom have played a significant role in reducing the fatality rate. Yet each fatality serves as a grim reminder of the deadly potential of the inland taipan. The severity of each case is a testament to the venom's power. It's a power that can shut down the human body in mere hours, attacking the nervous system and the blood's ability to clot. In the face of such fatal potential, one might wonder why anyone would dare to interact with this creature. But it's this very danger, this dance with death, that draws scientists and snake enthusiasts towards the inland taipan. For them, understanding and respecting this creature's deadly nature is part of the allure. And so, we must remember, every encounter with an inland taipan carries with it a risk. A risk that underscores the respect we must accord to such a formidable creature. These fatalities underscore the deadly potential of the inland taipan. Nestled within the parched landscapes of central and eastern Australia, the inland taipan embodies the merciless splendor of its homeland. Its endemic habitat, an arid expanse of dust and heat, echoes the primal, raw beauty of the continent. Teeming with diverse flora and fauna, the region is a testament to life's indomitable spirit in the midst of unapologetic harshness. The inland taipan thrives in this unforgiving, exhibiting an intriguing mix of harsh survival and delicate grace. Renowned for striking fear with its mere presence, the creature is admired and dreaded in equal measure. Its distinct color palette, a mesmerizing blend of olive and dark brown, is a tribute to its arid environment. Serpentine and lethal, the inland taipan slithers its way through the heart of the continent, owning its title as the planet's most venomous snake. Its venom, a lethal concoction of neurotoxins, myotoxins and procoagulants, is potent enough to its adversaries within minutes. 
an epitome of raw power and captivating danger, the inland taipan's venom is so potent that it can immobilize and kill a full-grown kangaroo. An encounter with this fascinating creature is a chilling reminder of the primal forces that lurk beneath the stunning beauty of the Australian outback. This unique snake's captivating potential for danger is widely recognized and well deserved. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video.